There's something bugging you, isn't there? Something that you do not hit the driver as far as you should. Inside you, bugging you, knowing that you should be hitting the driver at least 10, 20, maybe even more yards, especially with your effort that you're putting into it. I'm gonna show you quick fixes to hit better drives, and it's got very little to do with technique. If we have a swing that early extends a little bit or tries to hit it a bit too hard and we've raised this handle up, okay, through impact. And usually that's a consequence of some other things, getting a bit sort of stuck on the downswing, coming over the top here, trying to compensate that way. But instead of trying to fix several other things that potentially might be the cause of sort of early extending and standing up, it's a real distance killer because the most optimal way to hit a driver is not with the club being dead flat. It's not with it being sort of heel off the ground where too many of you are. It's actually designed for the toe to be a little bit higher through impact, okay? Through that impact area, we want that toe to be a little bit higher. Why? Because that's how the club is made and that's how tall players and long hitters are delivering the driver with the toe a little bit higher up, not like this. More speed, it's gonna help you hit the center of the club face more often, but help your swing path, especially the release through, because we're not fighting ourselves. Without a club, I need to get your thumbs. Yay, we're gonna take our setup. Observe where your thumbs are pointing. We're not, we're kind of replicating a, a grip, if you will, but the thumbs are kind of pointing a little bit further up. I make my back swing, thumbs pointing up. I don't want my thumbs pointing down through the ball here. I want you to have a sensation that as you swing through, your thumbs are actually pointing up through impact and on the through swing as well. That's gonna help us sort of draw pattern a little bit and help that swing move all the way round. But it's going to help that driver be used as it was designed to glide through. It's the most aerodynamic way rather than here, okay? So with that sensation, a few practice swings of thumbs up. Let's just do a couple of little half swings, feeling like those toe of the club is staying up. Tommy Fleetwood does this very well. And you see him practice swinging like here. It's almost like the hands are lower, those thumbs are pointing up. I'm not trying to do this, but it's a feeling of a little bit more hinge this way through impact, keeping those thumbs up. And what you'll find is it gives you a nice shallow angle of attack because if we're, trying, if we're throwing those hands down, that club gets steeper. Because the driver is so long and our swing is the fastest, We've got a sort of control battle, whatever you want to call it. This driver, as it's being pulled through, we want to try and maintain it on its path. We don't want it to be pulling us along. So the feeling of the thumbs up through impact is going to give you much more shallow and solid strikes. And I just want you to test it out with some little shots to begin with and notice how much more consistency. Before we continue the lesson, I just wanted to talk to you about the open. You wanna take this a little bit further. You can try it just hitting a few shots off the deck with the driver because it gets much harder if you're tipping the club up this way. It becomes very hard. But to hit a driver off the deck to have a smooth delivery, a nice wide arc. We have those thumbs pointing up, okay? We just point those thumbs up. We get that contact. And more distance isn't just about swinging faster and harder. It's about getting the center of the club face, using the driver to help you and having a sequence that helps. Now, if you want to have three steps to really simplify the entire goal swing, check out this lesson. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.